we are going to illustrate uh, the Monte Carlo ideas here, starting with a stock price of 100. I'm going to make up some daily mean. That's our drift of spot one and daily volatility of 1%. I've also copied the formula from the slide so you can follow what I'm doing here. So for day one, I'm going to essentially look at a share price path over 20 days. So for day one, I'm going to start uh, at, at 100. Now, my drift, as you can see here, is the mean times the stock price. So there's your mean multiplied by the opening stock price. Okay, so we've got the drift. Now, for the Z value, what I'll do is I'll use the norm S inverse function. So the standard normal distribution, but inverse function, meaning that I'm going to be obtaining the Z value based on a probability. Now, probability can be between 0 and 100, so I'm going to use the REN function within the norm S inverse function. So essentially what that's going to do is produce a random Z value. Now, the stochastic element will be the volatility. So let's take the volatility, multiply the volatility by the opening stock price again, and then multiply by the random Z value. Okay, so there's your stochastic element. And then the closing price. <clears throat> now, notice here that this formula is calculating delta S, so the change in the stock price. So I'm going to take the opening stock price plus the deterministic drift plus the stochastic element, and that will be my closing price. Okay, so now, hopefully if performed correctly, I should be able to copy this down and obtain the prices over the next 20 days. And as a final point here, I have graphed the evolution of the share price. Now, this is, of course, only one potential scenario. So there could be so many different scenarios. We can recalculate tens of thousands of these scenarios. So I guess you could write a VBA macro or you could do some Python programming code. So just generate tens of thousands of those scenarios. And then for each of those scenarios, remember you've got an Asian option, which will look at the average of these prices, or you've got the look back option, which will look at the lowest price that was achieved during the life of the option. Or if you're modeling mortgage-backed securities, then obviously you're going to be modeling interest rates.